Hey, what's going on? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy, the number one performance coaching program for young men in business. And today, this is probably the single most important lesson that an entrepreneur can learn. And not just an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, or just a human, a human who wants to fulfill all of their potential, that wants to, you know, when they die at the end of this lifetime, not feel regret that they left something in the tank. This is for you. Now, what, what keeps most people stuck is how they respond when stuff doesn't go their way, right? Like it's easy to wake up and feel amazing when you're having a great day or a great week or a great quarter. That's easy, that's easy. And I'm not saying there's anything bad about that, that's amazing. But it's when we hit those rough patches, it's when things start going wrong and we're like, dude, what is happening? Right? Like that's when we start to question ourselves. That's when we start to question the path we're on. That's where we really start to go to some pretty dark places. Like that's where we feel more anxious. That's where we feel more depressed. That's where we feel more on edge. We tend to treat ourselves worse and we, we tend to treat the people in our lives worse. And I want you to look at your path this way because most people look at their path like this. They look at their path like this, right? That's how most people look at their path. And when they're up here, they feel good about themselves because they're defining themselves by their results and the validation they get from those results. And so when they're at the top of one of these curves, they feel like their true self. They feel good, they feel empowered, they feel in control. But then when they hit one of these down slopes, what do they do? What do you do? What do I do, right? We get sad, we get frustrated, we get upset, doubt sinks in. We're like, shh, mm. Everything was so nice up here and stable and predictable and, and things were working out for me. What's going on down here? Am I broken? Am I on the wrong path, right? A lot of self-doubt sets in and then, you know, a couple weeks go by or a month or whatever and then, and then we're like, oh yeah, things, a lucky break, things are going our way again. And, and then we feel okay, we feel happy, we start to treat ourselves better, we, try to, we start to treat other people in our life better things take a turn. Oh no. And then things don't go our way. We, the doubt sets in, right? A lot of people are on this roller coaster, especially male entrepreneurs are on this roller coaster because they're so tightly attached to the results within their business. And I get it because you pour your heart and soul into this thing. And so we start to identify as the business. We start to identify as the success we see or we don't see. So when the business is good, we're good. When the business is bad, we're bad. That's not a sustainable way to live. It's slowly killing you. Physiologically, it's, it's prematurely aging your body and your cells and your organs. It's prematurely aging and killing your neurons and your brain cells. It's literally taking life away from you. Not to mention, it's unnecessary. This is the path that you're on. If you decide to be on this path, it's the path you're on. Odds are you're already on this path. You just don't know it yet because of the perspective that you're taking, but it's really like this. Okay, so notice there's still ups and there's still downs, right? There's still fluctuations. There's still fluctuations. There's still times when things are, they feel like they're clicking and they're going well. And there's times where you like, it feels like things are broken, but notice how the trajectory is always up. The trajectory is always up. And this is why this happens, right? We need to understand as humans, we are, we are creatures of evolution. And in order to evolve into the next stage, the previous stage must break down and die. I know that sounds a little uh, dramatic or a little intense because it is intense. In order to transform, if you think about a, a, a caterpillar, right? And a butterfly, right? Like the caterpillar goes into its cocoon and in that cocoon, literally pieces of itself die and they ferment, kind of like a fertilizer. But that, those nutrients then allow for the creature to evolve literally into another being and then it leaves. It leaves the old self behind. We are in that process as humans, as men, every single day, week, month, year, we're never done. We like to think that like, you know, we, we reach this stable place and we're done growing and whatever, but every human is on this path, whether they know it or not. Now, those that acknowledge that this is the path they're on achieve more inner peace on the path, which allows them physiologically to optimize. When we feel at peace, our organs work better. Our energy flows better. Our mind works better. We get more done. We solve more problems. We make more money. We help more people. We have more fun, right? But think about it, think about it. Maybe you're here right now. Maybe you're on one of the downswings in between the, in between the peaks, maybe you're in a valley, but if the trajectory is always moving upward and forward, who cares? In order for, let's say that you have big goals for this year, big goals that look different than last year, right? We're evolving. Odds are your goals are not to stay the exact same. 
In order for things to change, certain pieces of you have to die, right? They have to die so that they can become the fertilizer for your new self. And so things are going to go well for you. Maybe they're going well for you now. Great, that's awesome. But then it's gonna be time to transform and things will seem like they're breaking apart. Things, things that were stable will become unstable. And our initial reaction is to go, oh, things are breaking, this is bad. It, our initial instinct is to get frustrated, to feel insecure, to feel unsafe, right? And to start acting out of character, to start you know, acting desperately or out of doubt, right? We start to project that on other people. But if you're just on this path, and if the challenges you're experiencing now are just setting you up for another peak, and once that peak starts to unravel, what if that unraveling is just things breaking apart so that they can, you can experience a, an, an even more organized level of growth and coherence, right? You are on this path. This is the path of the person who has chosen to evolve and answer the call on their heart to expand into something bigger, to be more, to have more, to do more. And so if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, dude, things are gonna fluctuate from time to time. If you're someone who has committed to a, a path of personal development and personal evolution, right? This is what's gonna happen. You're going to feel great. You're gonna be riding a high. You're gonna learn new things. And then guess what? In order to fully integrate those new things, the old things have to disintegrate so you can reintegrate the new things. Same thing with a business. You may have a, a model that's producing revenue. But if you have a bigger goal, the universe is listening. If you have a bigger goal, some of those things that are no longer in alignment with the biggest version of yourself, they will dismantle, they will disintegrate so that they can reintegrate into something bigger and better, right? So think about it. You're on this path, you're not on this path. So if you're at one of these little valleys, good. Something is disintegrating so that it could reintegrate into something bigger, more powerful, and more effective. And enjoy that. But also guess what? In a little bit of time or a lot of time, things are gonna disintegrate again so that you can reintegrate it a bigger way and you just start to fall in love with the peaks and the valleys. If you're in a peak or you're in a valley but everything is just part of this upward trajectory, does it matter? Does it matter? No, it really doesn't. Maybe one is a little more comfy cozy and one is a little less comfy and less cozy but the discomfort is what forges you. The discomfort is what, what sharpens the iron. And so a lot of us, the only thing we're missing is gratitude when we're down in these valleys. Gratitude that the old self is dying and the new self is reintegrating, right? And then also gratitude at the top, acknowledging that when you are experiencing a season of growth and, and, and things are, are seemingly well and flowing, acknowledge that and, and, and have gratitude to that. But you become very bulletproof as an entrepreneur. You become far, far, your, your personal transformation, your personal development skyrockets when you can just acknowledge that you're on this path because then you're not so attached to your results. You're not defined by them, meaning things can be going well and you still feel good. Things could be disintegrating in order for a big breakthrough to happen and you can still feel good. You just kind of feel good all the time. And that's okay. That's what we do at Wake Up Wealthy. We stabilize our guys because they know they're on this path. They're no longer on this roller coaster. And it's just a shift in perspective. There's nothing that actively needs to be done except you going inward and declaring that, yeah, I have been on this path. I've been on this path for years. Gratitude at all points and you will feel so much more at peace with where you're at. And when we feel at peace, I'll say it one more time, our, our, our body neurophysiologically optimizes. Our body is healthier, it's happier. Our brain works better, which means we can solve more problems, make more money, create more value, help more people. And we're kinder to the people in our life that we love. And so you just gotta pick, you just have to decide which one are you on, and that's where you'll find yourself. So just a quick shift in perspective can change everything. So. If you found this helpful, if you have questions about this, just drop a comment below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, my friend. Every week we're putting out new stuff that is literally dedicated to just giving you value and action plans so that you can take this stuff, plug it into your business, plug it into your mindset, plug it into your daily operating system, and you can start seeing tangible results. And last, if you wanna know more about what we do here at Wake Up Wealthy, you wanna see if it's a good fit, you want help scaling your business to the multiple six, seven figure level, wow, radically transforming your mindset, your habits, and unlocking hidden levels of potential, go to themasterymethod.com or I'm sure there's a link down here somewhere. I don't know how it looks because I'm filming this right now live, but go to that or go to themasterymethod.com, learn more and we'll plug you in if you're a fit. Have a good day.